All right, what's up, my peeps? Joshua Smith here. Thank you so much for tuning to GSD Interviews. Before we jump into this interview, I want to give our sponsors a quick plug that make this show possible. So our first sponsor is our real estate software, www.perfectstormnow.com, the most affordable and effective lead generation software out there. This isn't just a website. Yeah, we've got a website. Yeah, we've got a blog feature. Yeah, we have a, a testimonials and, and video client testimonials feature. We have community pages. We have all of, of the typical website stuff. What we differentiate ourselves is on the lead generation. We teach you how to lead generate. This, this system is extremely effective with lead generation. We can teach you how to go out there and generate more leads than you can handle um, without spending a, a penny on lead generation, right? Um, not only, though, do we teach you how to lead generate, not only is it a great website, um, it's, it's a coaching platform combined with, with software. So we have two, uh, uh, two monthly live training sessions that are two hours long um, with myself personally. So we teach you how to use the site, how to generate with the site, how to leverage the site. And, and it goes deeper than that. Okay, I'm getting all these leads. What do I do? What do I say? How do I convert these leads? So we go and train you and coach you on every aspect of that so you can go out there and dominate it in your business. So you have access to me, my developers on a daily basis as a customer of ours. So it's 99 bucks a month, um, no contracts, no uh, registration fees. It's month to month, 99 bucks a month. You can't beat it, right? So go check us out, www.perfectstormnow.com. Our next sponsor is My Personal Mentorship. You know, if you're ready to take your business, your life, your career to the next level, uh, we've got our My 90 Day ba uh, Mastery Boot Camp, which is a, a mentorship with me personally. Every single week, it's three hours or two hours of live coaching and training with me and then one hour of live Q&A. You have daily access to me and our private mastermind. Um, we build out your playbook. Every, every aspect of the residential real estate business from, from how to lead generate to how to lead follow up to how to do your presentations to how to build out your database um, to even start talking about how to grow a team, how to hire hire, how to fire. There's nothing that we do not cover inside that program. Then after the program's done, after the initial 12-week program's done, um, it's an ongoing platform. It's 50 bucks a month uh, where you have access to me for as long as you want. You know, right? And in that $50 a month program, you guys, I've made that where $50 a month is more powerful than a $1,000 a month coaching program that you can get anywhere else. So we do um, <coughs> four hours of, of monthly coaching, at 50 bucks a month. So you get four hours of, of live coaching. Uh, we have two in-person masterminds here in Phoenix, Arizona. They're every six months. It's a private mastermind with uh, me and only the alumni bootcamp members that are part of the uh, mentorship. We don't bring in guest speakers. There's nothing to sell. There's none of that crap that we all get at all of these other uh, seminars that we go to. You usually go pay 500 bucks for a seminar and they try to sell you a bunch of shit. That's not what this is. This is hardcore masterminding. This is a hardcore mentorship masterminding growth program. Uh, so if you guys want to learn more about that, www.90daymastery.com. Hope to see you guys in the program. All right, let's jump on into the interview. Hopefully you enjoy this as much as I did. What is up, my peeps? Joshua Smith here with another GSD interview. Every single week, we interview top entrepreneurs and just straight up top badasses out there dominating their space. These are people that are choosing not to play life small, not choosing a life of mediocrity, but instead to go out there and create epic lives and epic businesses for themselves. So today, you guys, really excited to have a top producing real estate agent on the show today. This guy that does hundreds and hundreds of transactions year in and year out. He's also a, a publisher, a radio host. So really uh, excited and honored to have Jason stop on the show. Welcome to the show, my friend. Yeah, yeah thanks, thanks, Josh. Josh. Yeah. Thanks for having me. Yeah, no, it's a huge honor, bro. Dude. I, I know you're a busy man. appreciate you being here. And uh, you're doing a lot of big things today, man. you got a, got a big team. You guys are doing hundreds of transactions every single year. You know, you're a publisher, a radio show. you got all these things going on. But before we dive into what you're doing today, dude, let's rewind the clocks, man, back to like high school, college. Like what, <laughs> what, what, what led you to this entrepreneur journey in the first place? Uh, well, the growing up with my mom is awesome. I love my mom. Uh, she's a single mom with two kids, myself and my sister. And uh, we grew up in, uh, you know, food stamps. Uh, we'd go get dry milk and cheese. I remember that and bread. And uh, we stayed in all these low income places. And she did the best she could, and she did awesome. But all I remember is I was so jealous of my buddies in high school when they'd have their house, uh, they had their bikes, they had all this stuff. And I just said, I'd, I want to have more. So I started working young at a young age and then uh, got a job out of college that was in telemarketing. 
and uh, just phone sales, just straight up phone sales. Had great training from a guy from New York named John, who uh, was a really uh, very very hard nosed general manager. And then that was able to get me uh, the motivation to do real estate. So I did. Um, so I got in real estate. After I bought my first my house that I lived in, because I had my college buddies renting from me at that time, and then I got in real estate. Because it's tough to get in real estate, man. I was I was young, no one wanted to touch me. Six months, no no deals, almost gave up multiple times. Even inquired in on other jobs, you know, and then uh, and then I finally got my first deals going, and then I stuck with it. How, how old were you at this point? Twenty. Three, 10, 24, 24, 23, 24, 24, somewhere in there. Yeah, I love that, man. Um, yeah, so in the same age I do, was at when I got, got into business, very similar stories, dude. And you, you jump in, and yeah, there, there's a lot of resistance. Like, you can barely shave, and people are like, well, why would I buy a house for you? So let's talk about that, dude. So your first six months, no deals. You're almost ready to quit. 90% of real estate agents drop out in the first three years. Like, like how did you overcome it, man? How, what, what did you to keep pushing? How did you overcome that? I got, I got my, my first few deals, deals and, and then... then I started watching and going to seminars. I was a junkie. Just seminar after seminar, I'd watch or whatever I could. I'd travel to go to see seminars. And then I hooked up with uh, Craig Proctor at the time. And I went to a seminar, and he wanted me to drop 20 grand for a year of training with him. And I, it was like do or die for me at that time. And I remember just sitting down on the floor of the lobby of the hotel after he's, you know, to go think about it. And I called a friend of mine and I just said, hey, I think I'm just going to put it all on my credit card and just go for it. Because I had no money to do it, you know, money-wise. Uh, so I put it on a credit card, did it, got plugged in, and I did it religiously. Like every day I did his calls, his, his, uh, his trainings, followed all of it, and then started with one assistant who was working out of my bedroom in my house. Uh, and then... Went to um, hire buyers, buyers agents, agents and then built from there. And then, then Craig Proctor, so he was instrumental. His systems were instrumental into helping me uh, launch the team. Uh, but that was after a year and a half into it. But I started doing short sales too when no one else wanted to touch them. So I kind of got into stuff where people would say yes to me. And the only thing that would they say yes to me on is during a short sale. It was easy. As opposed to going against someone else that was experienced on the listing side anyway. So. All right, dude, so let's, let's kind of rewind that there. So you jump in Craig Proctor, you drop the 20 Gs, dude, which kind of holds you accountable right there because that forces you, hey, if I don't implement, man, I'm done. Um, yep. So what was that turning point, man? Because, you know, I mean, Craig Proctor, brilliant guy, brilliant coach. I've, I've learned so much from him as well over the years. And, you know, but most people jump in these programs and they never take action, they never execute, and they end up just failing anyway. So, you know, what what was that? What was that turning point with executing what you're learning with them that started taking it to the point where you can hire an assistant? Yeah, yeah it, was, it was, like you said, said desperation. desperation. So, so it was, it was to, to a point, point like, like, okay, if I don't make this, I have this much money in my credit card, card. I have my student loans, I'm probably going to lose my house, house you know, and, and I just had to make, make it work. So I did, so I just listened blindly. And I remember, you know, getting laughed at, mocked, and the office I was in was a very high-end office. <clears throat> they did a lot of high-end properties, and they just said, what a jokester, Craig Proctor's a joke, it's all gimmicks, who needs him? And this is around the 06 time frame, and they're like, everything's great, you should just come out and learn how to sell like us on the lake, and, and then you don't have to do anything all day, and yada, yada, yada. And, uh, and then... But, but I didn't listen to that. I just kept going and doing what I had to do to get little deals, little deals, little deals, and then um, built up from there. And I think it was just a belief system. It was just getting the confidence that he instilled to, to say that, hey, and how he started out. He started out of his parents' basement. I remember him to the story. And, and grew from there and uh, just was motivated and just went out and just went after appointment after appointment and got the meetings. He preached that they get signed contracts from buyers. You don't just yeah. go and show them houses and all these things that really helped manage it and make it successful. So I would just do buyer appointments, buyer appointments, buyer appointments. I'd bring them into my office. I wouldn't care if they were pre-approved or not. I'd sign them up for a one-year contract. And then 
some, some of those buyers, buyers are seven, seven years later, or, or are still, still, you know, finally able to buy uh, that I set up way back, you know, in the day. But uh, it was very, very heavy appointment, heavy call, heavy follow up, and, and then the ads that he would teach to run these call to action ads with very little information, but it got people to respond, and that is brilliant. It's very simple, but it was brilliant, you know, and it was not complicated enough that it that it didn't scare me away, didn't make me not, not want to do it. it. And, and I was hyper-focused on that one activity or this one process, not distracted by, like, like today I find myself still being distracted by 10 different systems, and it's hard to just hone in on one or two, you know. Yeah, no, and I love that uh, you chose not to listen to those agents in the office. You know, it's so often that we listen to the wrong people. You know, we need that mentor. And, uh, you know, when people say, oh, God, like, that's a joke. Dude. He's like the first real estate agent ever to sell a million dollars a year. And that was like back 30 years ago, dude. Yes. Yeah, just insane. You know, it's it's insane where the minds go in our business. So, all right, man, so so you're, you're following that system. You're doing the work. You're doing massive amounts of work. Um, then the market starts to transition into short sales. Um, we saw a lot of agents that were good agents that couldn't transition in that market. And then that market was there. We saw a lot of agents that couldn't transition out of it. So kind of walk us into that, man. How, how did you transition in? Um, and then also, how did you know when it was time to transition out? And how was that successful? Transitioning in was uh, kind of interesting because I actually had gone through uh, a foreclosure myself on the guy. So, all right, so right when we got cut off, you're talking about the tra- transitioning in. Yes. yes. So, so transitioning, transitioning in. in. So the guy, the guy that got, got me into real estate, estate uh, blessing, blessing and a curse at the same, same time, time, right? Some, some of the best things, some of the worst things that happened, that have happened to me turned out to be the best things down the road. I was a straw, not, not a straw buyer, but I was used as a 23-year-old buyer to bail out his brother who was in New Zealand and he was about, about to lose a property here in the Twin Cities. And I was young and green and motivated. And they, and they pumped me up and said, oh, you're, you're the perfect candidate. candidate. You, you could buy. You have an 800-plus credit score. You make, make good income at your job. Uh, you, you can, can buy 10, 10 properties at a time right now. now. No, no money down. down. <clears throat> and you, you will get, get a cash flow of 1800 bucks a month. And you will get $40,000 right in your pocket. In your pocket. Now, now, I'm my, my mom, mom never owned real estate. estate. I didn't know the process of real estate. We rented our whole lives. So this, to me, sounded like a dream. I envisioned, I envisioned myself, I said, yes, yes I made, made it. it, I'm going to retire at 23. I ended up buying the property, nothing went as planned, uh, I ended up putting, putting every penny I had into it for six months, trying to sell it, trying to do whatever I can, trying to rent it, I lost the property in foreclosure. Now, this is 2005 when the foreclosure officially went through. It was 2004 when I got foreclosed on. No one got foreclosed on in those years. You were laughed at. By the, the bank, bank because, because the market was going, going up, you know, you know and, and it's like, what the heck is going on here? here? Uh, so, so I went through that foreclosure. It prevented me from being able to buy the dozens and 20 and 30 and 50 and 100 properties that I wanted to buy that I envisioned myself buying. So I was very angry. But, but I stepped, stepped, just, just kept selling and selling and selling. And because I went through that, I would, I would, I would sit, sit down, down with someone who was going through that process. And even in the early 06, late 06, and I could relate what, what they, they were going, going through, through, how the bank was going to respond, what, what they were going to have to do. So I just immediately gravitated and learned the short sale business. business. Then, then I used, used that to leverage to get bank, bank accounts. accounts. When, when that started in 07, I got my first bank, bank account. And then, that's, and then, then I started getting more and more bank accounts. And then, and then that, that led to one of my greatest clients, which was a big multi-property remodeler here that they would buy bank properties and remodel them. And that lasted for many, many years. still going on. And then, and then now, now I'm transitioning out of the REO, still doing REO, but I'm transitioning, transitioning out, and that's why I'm doing the radio show. show. I'm doing the uh, Edina, Edina Living, uh, which is our local publication of Edina, Edina Living, which is through Discover, uh, Discover, uh, Discover Pubs. Pubs. And, and I, would I would highly recommend this for someone if you're trying to grow uh, and farm your own market where you live or where you work out of. And that's, and that's what, what I'm trying to do with that. that. And, and I got that great information from Kirby Scurrett and Chris Lindahl. Kirby Stewart, Stewart and Chris Lindahl, who are both the three managers, also the same broker to different areas here in the Twin Cities. And, uh, and that's, that's the whole process, because with your reputation is REO, and you go up and you're listed at 600 or you know, higher end, at our market 500 and up is considered high end, and you're going on that list, and all that other agent has to do is say, oh, 
You've interviewed, interviewed Jason Stockwell. He's known for REO, bank owned. That, that seller, the regular, regular seller who's never gone through, through that had to deal with that, immediately puts a question mark in their head. So I'm trying to still deal with that um, reputation and rebrand a little bit into it. Part of the rebranding is to, you know, <clears throat> wear this. I'm wearing, I'm wearing a sport or a suit coat, coat and a button-up. And a button -up. I, never I, never did, did, I never had to wear that during REO days. <laughs> I wear dress shoes and, and, uh, and I show up on the equipment and I got a, a nicer, nicer car and, uh, and I moved to the city that, that is a higher-end city because I wanted to because we had three kids and we need better schools. But it's still tough to rebrand because that reputation can hold for a long time. So all you got to do is slowly work through that process. And, um, and, and one, one by, by one, one, you know, just start, start getting, getting that clientele that isn't REO to rebuild and brand yourself. yourself. And, and then partner. I'm all about partnerships and, and working together. So I, so I took uh, uh, and partnered with two other agents, agents that came over from another company that joined my team. And they are known for higher-end real estate. So, so by partnering with them, them, it automatically brings credibility to the table on anybody in the higher end market so yeah so so now when you say are you are you trying to transition out of oreo or are you just trying to rebrand yourself so then hey i still got this oreo department this this building investor <clears throat> department and then we now we have our kind of traditional and, and at some point yes. market. i still i love i love, I love, I love REO. REO. I, think I think it's very very good, good. We, have we have awesome systems, systems for that, that. and but, but from, from an overall, overall standpoint, standpoint of the economy, economy I, I, I like it that, that, there's, that there's, there's less REO. REO. That, that means everybody's, it's, everybody's doing better. better. The economy's doing better. The homeowner's doing better. better. Values are doing better. Doing better. So, because, because I don't have a pipeline, pipeline like I had of REO before, I have to, to maintain. I can do what other agents do that are strictly REO, and they just go with the flow. One year they'll sell 20 houses, like right now. And, and two years ago, or three years ago, or four years ago, they were selling 200 houses. Right. And, and that's, that's just how they model their business and they only do REO. I want to maintain the same level in production, but now, now without that piece, that, that REO piece, which was pretty much you know, 60 to 70% of the business for me, I have now it's 20% of the business. I have to make up that. And, and to do that, that it's going on appointments, appointments again. It's hitting the phones again. again. It's calling and reaching out and scheduling the listing appointments. Doing, doing full, full listing packets with nice brochures. I never had to do that. I would show up with a listing contract and say, here, here is the price. Um, um, and, 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 and I would say, sign here with a listing contract. In fact, I wouldn't have to go and do the whole dog and or what do they call it, dog and pony show of what we would do for them, you know. Yeah, no, I dig it. You know, when people when people always ask, hey, is it a good market or a bad market? I'm like, that's a bad question. It's always, whom is it good for? It's, there, it's always a good market. You just got to learn to shift, move, and adapt to that clientele that it's good for, right? So um, yep. let's talk then about your team, man, because you start off your team with, with your first assistant who is working out of your bedroom, dude, right? And, Not and, in my, my bedroom. bedroom. Keep it, uh, <laughs> but, but a bedroom, bedroom in my house. house. Yeah, yeah, okay, home <laughs> office, bedroom in your house, right? Uh, um, so, okay, so, so we're, we're looking at that, right? And then in order to do the amount of homes and sales and, and that you do, because you guys are selling hundreds every, every single year, I mean, you've got to have a good team. You've got to have good systems. You know, what, what does that look like? And what were some of those maybe initial mistakes that you made when growing your team that you had to learn from and overcome? Uh, uh, so, so two things, things uh, started, started out just like everybody else. else. I, I sold, sold, I think I, 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 don't I don't even know what, what I sold. sold. My, my, my first year was, was very, very, very what, 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 what did I sell? sell? Five, Five homes or something, something like that, that you know, know. And, then and then grew from, from there. there. But, but, uh, but, but some, some of the mistakes is that I was quick to hire. I would just hire anybody because I was desperate and I needed someone. The other thing, I was too hard I was too rigid in my my, my, my comp, comp plan, plan for team members, members for, for buyers, buyers agents. agents. And, and I, I would not be, have, have any flex and that, that cost, cost me dearly. I, I cost, cost me on some agents, agents that, that, I, that, that I could have probably, probably had with me for a long, long time. Um, but I was, I was just non-negotiable. Even, even on a little, little minuscule, you know, know, hey, this, this is even in our REO days when our sale price was half of what it is now. And I would just say, nope. Nope, 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 this, this is the system. system. If, you if you don't, don't like it, leave. And that, and, and they, they listened, listen, and they left. left. And, and I should be, and now I've learned to be a little more 
uh, understanding, understanding of their, their situation, situation and, and know, know that not, not many buyer agents, agents are forever. And not, not many agents in your team are going to be forever. Gonna be forever. But, but to, to keep them longer, you might, might have to have a scaled system with incentives, incentives that, that pay different structures for different scenarios. And, um, and, and that's, that's one thing that I wish I would have learned, learned earlier because, because there's a few people that, that I really, 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 really regret. regret. You know, you know, but, but I, I learned, but you learned from everything, everything right? right? I mean, you, you learn, learn along the way. way. Uh, the, uh, the other thing, thing is getting a database set up. Everybody preaches that over and over again, but you got to have a database set up and and, and have, have a follow up on the on the leads from, from your agents, agents ideally, and they don't, don't like to do it sometimes. But you got to have a plan with them to do it and sit down with them and go through. So we do it every two weeks. We do a team training, and it's just keep it top of mind. Hey, this is where you're. Money, money comes, comes from, from these are leads, leads, these are, this, is, this, is, this equates, equates to real money, it takes, takes work, work, but it, it, the buyers equate, equate to real money. Um, those, those, are, those, those are some of the main things, things. I mean, I'm, I'm still learning, learning every day, day. I'm, I'm still making tons, tons of mistakes, and, uh, but hopefully less, less than, than I was before, and I'm still uh, look open, open to learning anything, anything new, so if something new comes in, or I hear about something new, I'm, 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 I'm li- I listen, I listen for, for a little bit just, just to see if it, if it might be something, something that we could, could utilize or or, or uh, work with. with. Yeah. Um, so. so yeah, I love it, man. So now that your your market has uh, transitioned, where it sounds like eighty percent of your business is more traditional, what are some of the things you, you, you talked about? Discover Publication, which was the newspaper that you guys sent out. In addition to that, what are some of the things that you're doing right now that's working really well to bring <clears> in that new traditional business for your team? Uh, commissions, commissions Inc. We've been, been over, over two years, years with Commissions, commissions Inc. Love it. Uh, so we went back. back. Sorry, sorry to interrupt, but the system like that, man, you're doing like a lot of Google pay per click, like online ads to, to drive leads into that? Facebook, Facebook and, and we integrate, integrate with Zillow, Zillow, so all of our Zillow, Zillow, Zillow stuff goes right, right into there. Awesome. Uh, and, and our, our other, sis, other, other sites, sites too, too. All we, we drive every site, every lead we can possibly drive into that into that system. Other thing is reach out to builders. It's, it's hard, hard to get, get a builder relationship that lasts a long time because the builder will always seem to blame the realtor for when sales slow down or when something happens in the marketplace. But right now, it's a heavy, heavy builder uh, market. So if you can get in with a builder, even on a non-exclusive or somehow work with them on one of their projects, even though they have other projects somewhere else, that would be something that we've done and I think that would be valuable for agents. But Commissions Inc., Discover Pubs, we went, we went all in on, on it. We did 20, 25,000 25, millions a month, month right, right out of the gate. gate. With, we're, we're approaching our one-year anniversary on that here in June. And uh, we're in a marketplace where it takes time to get, get that because, because there's a lot, a lot of realtors, realtors in our community. And everybody, everybody knows someone. And they know lawyers. And everybody's more fluent. So they know people and have resources. But, but it's brand recognition and building that, your name in and getting clients that way. Radio show, we did that. And that... It's not, not necessarily, necessarily great, great for us from a lead standpoint, standpoint for buyers and sellers, but man, does that, that help us with the referral network of professionals. We have a business spotlight every week for the radio show where we bring in a, a business somewhere in the Twin Cities and we talk about them and let them market their business and brand their business. And that is starting to reap rewards from business to business referrals from them to us and us to them back and forth. Uh, and, and that's, that's been very, very helpful. helpful. We're getting, We're getting a few slowly on the, on the consumer, consumer side leads, but they're, they're, le- they're they seem to be less likely to be directly from our radio show. Because we pre-record, and, 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 and uh, it's, it's on the weekends, weekends and, and I have three kids, and, and the weekends, weekends are kind of tied up on a lot of things. Um, that's, that's something we do. That's, that's been very helpful. Commissions Inc. And then going back to the basics. Scheduling, scheduling list of appointments, going, going on, on them, doing, doing just listed, just, just sold cards. So, so simple, so easy, very, very cost effective. effective. But that's, that's something, something I haven't done, done in, ever, ever since I started out. out. And then and when, when I got into the other REO side, side, I never had to do it. Never did. It. I didn't even care to do it at that time. time. But now, you, that's, that's something you, everybody, everybody should be doing as a basic, basic fundamental, I think. At least the sold, just sold, because... It's, uh, it's, it's so cost-effective cost effective and the return, return is, so, is so good. And then, and then going, going back to all your past sales, sales yeah. and, and hitting, hitting them up, up 
uh, we're, we're trying, trying, we're trying, trying for four times, times a year uh, to do that, that with, with a direct letter or a mailer or in, in the mail. mail. Uh, I'm not, not a big e-newsletter guy. guy. Um, if if I, we're, we're talking about doing one, one but we want to do it uh, once, once a quarter versus, versus once a month. There's, there's just, just so many. I get bombarded with so many emails. If anybody's like me, they're going to... Not, not care about the latest, latest recipe, recipe or, or they're not, they don't they need someone to remind them to do daily savings. savings. They, they don't need someone to remind them to clean their gutters. Uh, that's, that's me personally, but maybe, maybe that, that works for others, others but that's just not my, my brand. brand you know, so. Yeah. So, you know, with, with leads, I mean, it seems like leads, you know, leads are important, but so many agents get flooded with leads, man, and, and they just don't know how to convert them. They're not following up aggressively. You know, they're maybe not using a good CRM like you with Commissions Inc., where they're able to set those appointments. What does that kind of look like on your guys' end? Close, close as many as deals as you guys do, you got to be aggressive on the follow-up and, and with the frequency and, and also the speed of that. Walk us through what that kind of looks like. A new, Let's say it's a new Zillow lead or internet lead that comes into your team. You know, How quickly do you guys hit on them? How often are you reaching out to them? What does that look like? Well, well, so, so Zillow, Zillow is great because, because they, they have the automatic, automatic reply deal. deal. If, if you don't know that, that you should set it up, up where you it'll it'll automatically reply via email for you. you. Uh, from, from Zillow, Zillow to, to the, the consumer, consumer and says, hey, thanks, thanks for your inquiry. inquiry. When's a good time to reach out or call you? you? you know, what's a good number and time to reach you or something like that? It's automatic. And, and you'll, you'll get probably you know, 20%, 20 percent that responds to that, that to reply back and say, hey, call me X day, X time. The other thing is that Commissions Inc. has a deal where you can do a video, and the video will go out automatically, directly, instantaneously to the consumer. That and acquired in, and, and that's an introductory video. video. So, so I'd say, hi, you reached Jason Stockwell team, thanks, thanks for your inquiry. One, one of my team members will be reaching out to you very shortly. Should you have, have any questions, use this as a resource, resource we're here to help. Just a very, very basic, basic, friendly video. video. But, but uh, those, those two are automatic, so that they get it instantaneously, and then after that it's up to the agent and any LOs that are partnered on the system to reach out and put notes in on the consumer. And... That's, That's just part, part of your, your I, don't I don't have an inside sales, sales I should, I should right, maybe. I've tried it, and it, and it didn't work out because I actually hired a live person who was inexperienced, and, and it just wasn't working out. They didn't, they didn't have the drive, the desire that I, that I, that I thought they should have. Um, but, but the, the agents should be able to reach out, out within, you know, 10, 10 minutes and then, then get, get a hold of that consumer. consumer. We've been very fortunate that... We don't, we don't need, need to get back, back to them in the first like minute, minute. But, but if people, people do, do you know they, they have success. success. And, the and the other thing is too is keep, keep in mind a lot, a lot of these leads they talk, talk about the ABC leads and buyers, buyers and sellers. You know, you know we, we want always the A, the right, right now buyers, buyers right? right? A lot of them aren't. So, so I have an agent on my team who actually doesn't go after them hardcore right out of the gate. She slowly kind of nurtures them. Over time, time. And, and I'll tell, tell you, any buyer, buyer those, all those B's, B's and C's, which, which are probably most of our leads are B's and C's, is probably 10% or A buyers, buyers right now, and the other ones 90% are B's and C's, C's down, the down the road buyers. She nurtures them, and she, she picks up, up the highest percentage of anybody on those buyers. buyers. We're, We're talking six, six months, nine months, a year down the road, she picks them up. And through her weekly update on commissions Inc. that she sends out to all of her leads with just something basic. Hey, did you know that Twin Cities just, cap, just cracked 3 million uh, people in population? Or did you know that we're expected to grow by this amount? Or did you know that uh, this is the sales process? Did you know that there's less inventory than, you know, than the statistics to back it up from our association? Just very simple information. People eat it up. Her, 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 her clients or her leads tend to eat it up. And it's a touch. On them, on them. That's, that's easy. You can do, do it in. in spend, she, spends she spends five minutes, minutes a week to get, get all of her leads, and she's probably got a couple thousand, thousand leads, leads in the, the system. system, and um, and, it, and pays it pays off, off for her. So, so. yeah, yeah, because now with blast emails, doesn't take that much time. And and you're right. I know your average generally is like six point seven months out from even getting in your car. Everybody wants the now lead, and those are the yeah. best yeah. leads at three months plus out. So if you, if you want, want now leads, go, go for listings. listings. And, and hit, hit hard. hard. Do an, do an expired, expired campaign, campaign or, uh, or any, any listing, listing lead. lead. I call listing lead, and I always, I always do it. Craig Proctor. Proctor. I, think I think Craig Proctor, Proctor said this. You want, want your appointment to be as close to now as possible. If it, if it can, can be an, an hour from now, you want it an hour from now. Last Friday, before Easter, or last Friday, 
I got, I got a, a. I was, I was doing, doing a call at three o'clock. Doing, doing my calls, calls I had a few calls, calls for listings at three o'clock. And, and one of them said, "Hey, maybe, maybe we can meet next week sometime." sometime. And, and I said, "Well, do you have any availability today or this afternoon?" From three o'clock, we I booked a four thirty with her that day. Went, went to it, it, saw it, I got, I got in, in the house, and I happened to have, have a buyer. And I said, oh, I might, might have a buyer that works here. And, 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 and I don't believe in fake. fake. Yeah. You never, you never deceive, deceive or lie. I don't, I, you know, people, people say, oh, bring, bring fake, fake buyers on. I had, I had a real buyer that was looking, looking in the area. area. I said, hey, hey, I think this might work for them. Brought the buyers in. They liked it. We had the deal wrapped up two days later. They didn't, they didn't even go on the market. market. They, didn't they didn't need to go, go on the market. market. They, they got, got what they wanted, wanted and my buyers were are elated, elated and happy. Even, even if, if I didn't have the buyers, I still was going to go on that appointment at that time because it's as close to now as possible. So, so if anybody tries to put me out for two weeks, you'll do it if you have to, but you want to try to push it for now. And another coach said this too. He said, time fills everything. The longer something goes out, the more time it takes. The less, the less likely, likely it's going, going to happen. It happens in relationships, it happens in, happens in real estate and deals and everything. And everything. Typically, the longer it's in residential, residential, the longer that time span is between negotiations or between them getting back, back to you or whatever, whatever it may be, the less, less likely it's going to happen. And then, and then the other thing, great practice, practice still sticks with me always is PPRA, Prospect Pursued Runs Away. And I don't want to just say you know, you, know, you shouldn't, shouldn't feel, feel like, like you're probably just listening to Craig Proctor, Proctor, Proctor and you probably, probably should. should. But, but all, all these things are instilled in my, my head because I paid 20 grand for the, for the first year. And I don't know what, what I paid even the second, second year because I stayed within, within another year. year. But, but that cost to get in, that cost of entry, made it so valuable that I had to learn it and I ingrained it in my head. But prospect pursuit runs away. So if I'm just calling and calling and calling you and chasing you down, that's maybe good to get initial contact. But after that, if, if you've given, given indications, indications or signs, i got to back off. off. If, if I keep chasing you, you're going to say, wow, this, this person is desperate. They scare, they scare me. And then you're going to get that call, hey, you know. Or, or you, you, you call one time and they say, don't call me, i got another realtor. realtor. So, so You want, you want them, them to want you. you. You're, you're the professional. You're the one who knows what you're doing. You're the experienced one. You're the doctor. You're the physician. You're the dentist. They come to you. And, and you, you can, can give good information from there. They will value you more. They will appreciate you more. And they will, they will probably give you better reviews when it's said and done. done. Yeah. So are you, are you daily attacking, uh, you know, your, your expireds, cancels, withdrawals? Uh, uh, expired, we do, we do, do, do a, a uh, campaign, campaign on expired. We have an agent, agent working on those pretty heavily. heavily. And... Um, and in our system is to do a mailer, mailer and then if it's in our radius, radius so, if so if it's within probably three miles, miles of our office here, here then, then every week we go out and door knock. knock. I still, I still door, door knock. knock. <laughs> I, like I like it because, because in the community, community I'm doing the newspaper, newspaper and, and I'm, I'm in the chamber and I'm actively involved and our kids are going to school and all that stuff. So it's good just to meet people. And, and even, even meet famous people sometimes. It's pretty cool. I don't want to give, give some names out from local famous people here in Minnesota, Minnesota but we, we were pretty surprised. And, and we made great rapport with that person. Uh, uh, they, they still, still haven't, haven't come, come, come on the market yet, yet but at least we have a chance because we were in front of them. We were, we were doing something that probably not many other people were doing. And we were hand-delivering valuable information to them. Like, And I think Fafini's training is awesome too now because he teaches a lot about that valuable piece of information. Um. But, but we, we were going, going and we were not afraid to go to the door, door and knock on the door, door and, and chat, chat with, chat with, with the individuals. individuals so. what, is, what is just an example of, of something valuable that you're bringing them? So, so we'll, we'll bring them their stuff, stuff around, around their, their neighborhood. neighborhood. And then, and then we've, we've made, made up our own sheets on, on hey, there's, there's probably three likelihood scenarios of why your home didn't sell. And, uh, and, uh, and then we bring that and say, hey, here's probably one of the three reasons. It could be a combination. It could be all three. And then, and then we, we bring, bring a local, local newspaper, newspaper that, that we print and say, hey, hey we publish this every month, too. You, you can also be in this and be marketed in this with, with us. We, we live, live in your community. We work, we work in your community. We send our kids to your community. We want to better your community. We know your community. We know this area. And that's, and that's why we keep it local. We're really hitting that on the local level. If it's outside of our that area, then we will do just a mail or a letter that says, hey, here's three reasons probably why your home didn't sell. Call, call us for a chance. chance. We've, We've sold, sold you know, over 2,000 homes in the, in the Twin, Twin Cities. Cities. We know what we're doing. Call the experts. experts. That, 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 that type of thing is what we'll do. do. 
Yeah. Well, so let's talk about uh, amount of effort, amount of work. I mean, you're still out there pounding the pavement, you know, every single day, day in and day out yourself. When I talk to real estate agents and I ask, why do you get into business? The number one answer I always get is flexibility of schedule. <laughs> you know, I, don't, I don't think people get the amount of effort and action this takes. So, you know, what 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 does that look like for you, man? What what kind of hustle has it taken to get you to the point where you're at? You, you have, have to be, be su- super, super willing to hustle. To hustle. That's, That's why it's so easy, so, so much easier if you're not. I don't, I don't want to see people don't get married. married. But, but man, if you, if you don't have children... children and you're, and you're young, young and, and you start, start out and that's where you, where you, you cut, cut your teeth on when, you're, when, you're, when you have, have that time and energy, energy, when you have that 24-7 Monday through Friday, or, or not, sorry, Monday, Monday through Sunday, where you'll, you'll do anything and you'll do whatever, whatever it takes, um, where, you where, you can, can, where you can get, because you, you really, really have, have to be fast, on certain, especially with buyers. If it's, if it's a, a hot market like it is right now, if your offer is delayed even an hour or two, or if you put it off and say, you know what, I'm going to go to dinner tonight, and I'll, and I'll put, put that buyer's, buyer's offer in tomorrow morning. morning. It, it could be gone. gone. It, it might probably will be gone. gone. Uh, so you really, really got to have that inner desire. desire. There's, There's got to be an ultimate, ultimate motivation. Because you, you don't get, get you won't get, get, get the flexibility, flexibility that you want. You'll still, still have flexibility. flexibility. Don't, don't get me wrong. wrong. You, you can have flexibility. You just won't have any money. In order to have the money and have the flexibility, you have to bust your tail for years probably, I would say. To, to get, get to a position. position. And then, and then you, you have, have to invest, invest in yourself. And I don't, and I don't even mean that from a training. training. I, you know, obviously, obviously from training. training. I'm, talking I'm talking about your own investments. investments. If, if you, you sell a product, you sell real estate, estate you better, better sure as heck own it yourself. And, and you probably should be investing in it yourself. yourself. Because, because that shows, shows you true belief in it and the power of it. And you understand it, internalize it, and you know it backwards and forwards, inside and out, and every dynamic of it. And, and I, know I know some people, people are like, oh, I just don't, don't, I don't, don't want to invest in real estate. I don't like it. it. But, but the best, best clients, clients I have have been investors, and they knew that, that I got it, it that, that I know what they're, they're doing, doing, that I know what's, what's going, going on, and, and they, they, they value my opinion and my experience in that, that I know what's going on with them. them. So, so I can look at it from their perspective, not just from an agent looking for a commission perspective to sell them or more, more rental, rental properies. properties. And, and I, can I can give them good advice. advice. Hey, I don't, I don't think, think I'd do this one. one. Even, Even though it's hot right now, I probably would hold off on this because of X, Y, and Z. Or, or this is really, really good, good. You should go for this one. If you, if you don't, don't buy it, I'll buy it. I've been in that situation many times. Hey, and I've been sincere about it. And I've bought ones that they haven't bought. Because I want to give them my main client, my first preference. And if it doesn't work for them, I'll, I'll do it. it. And I'll, and I'll, and I'll, because I, 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 I love to invest. invest. I, love I love to remodel, I love to build, I love to, build, I love to own rentals, rentals uh, all, all that, that stuff. stuff. And, and it's a lot of work, work but over time, time that will, will pay off. off. My, my broker, broker, John Collier, here, here at Remax Results, says if you buy, buy a house every year, you buy one house every year, all the way through your whole career, you will have no trouble worrying about your retirement. You won't, you won't have, have to worry about, about something, something crashing in the stock market. market. Because, because even if the market crashes, crashes you'll, you'll still have enough properties and enough equity. And if you do it right, right and smart, smart, you know. You know uh, uh, even even in, it's, it's like, like that cost cost or dollar cost, cost average or whatever they say. You do that real estate, too. So I still buy now. Even though it's a higher market. I bought. I wish I would have bought. 100, 100 times, times what I bought, what I bought in the down market. market. <laughs> well, you'll be, you'll be uh, prepped for next time, though, right? Because yeah. it's, it's not... Yeah, that's a, the thing. There's so many of us that are smart enough. I don't think it'll be as bad, bad of next time. time. It'll, it'll probably be after we're all dead. And then, uh, and then, and then everybody, everybody will really, really forget about it. And then it may happen again. again. I don't know. Yep. Yep. Who knows, man? So, um, oh, well, let's talk about today, though, man. Because, I mean, you got three little kids today. You know, so many people talk about balance, you know, right? So, like, how, how do you? Because, man, you, you still got to grind here. I'm sure you're still pretty much 24 seven. But then you want to make sure you're not neglecting your wife and your kids. You know, how do you find that? You know, I hate the word balance, but how do you find that man to make sure that every bit of it's getting the attention that it needs? Well, well I think, I think uh, so, so much of there's, there's never balance. balance. You, you strive, strive for it, but there'll always be something at any, any given, given time. time it isn't, isn't balanced. balanced. It's hard, hard to, to be completely, completely balanced. balanced. But, but the, the key, key to the, the beauty that, that, I, that, I, that I have set up here is I have uh, support, support so, so that works work for, for me directly. directly. So, so if I say, hey, hey my, my kid's got skating, skating practice or my daughter, daughter has gymnastics, gymnastics I'm going to go see that at a minimum of twice, twice a month. month. Every, Every week they do it, I'm going to go and be there and take that hour off to go there and see it. 
Uh, the, other the other thing, thing is weekends. Weekends, uh, weekends, weekends are tough, are tough because, uh, but, but I try, I try to, set to set it up so that I am basically my Sundays, Sundays are totally no meetings, meetings no appointments, appointments maybe, maybe some emails, emails and texts, texts but, but I don't should shouldn't be distracted, distracted too much from the family, family at that time. And then Saturdays too, I try to keep Saturdays. As much, as much, you know, you know, I do, I do a few appointments, appointments maybe in the morning, but then after that, it's kids' time. Because what will happen, happen is, is if you have kids, kids and you have a family, family my, my kids, with my, my son will get up in the morning, morning and he'll say, like, like on a Saturday, he says, hey, maybe, maybe not any day, he'll, day. he'll say, hey, is today a work day? And I'll be like, yeah, today's a work day. He's like, oh, and then the next day, is today a work day? And I'll say, no, it's Saturday. He's like, yay! And he's just pumped, stoked, elated, happy, because he knows that I'm going to have be, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna be home. home. I'm not I'm gonna, gonna come home at dinner time, time. Like, like, I, like normal, normal during, during the week, you know. So, so um, and, and I, I granted, you know, I, I, I want to do more. I want to sell more. And I could sell more. But there's, there's also that part where you do have to have, have some. Even though you're, you're never gonna, gonna be in balance 100, percent you have to have some time away. And it's hard for people when you get into a high production and you're highly motivated and you always want to go to 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 do that. Uh, but, but, but you got to force yourself to do that because, because your kids, kids will actually make you through their, their voice. <laughs> they're not afraid, afraid to tell you. you. Yeah. And, and their actions and everything like that. that. And, uh, and plus, that's the part that you'll remember, remember they'll, they'll remember. remember. And, they and they won't grow, grow to resent your, your, your business, business later, later on, on in life, which I've seen personally happen with people in my office where they are not a realtor because their mom was. And, and they, they resented, resented that business, business so badly, badly they, they just won't put themselves, themselves into it for their, their own family, family and kids. So. so, yep, love it, man. So, a couple last questions for you, but before we jump into those, man, if, if anybody wants to learn more about you, maybe they're in your area, in, in the Minnesota area, and they want to talk about joining your team, or they want to check out your uh, radio show. What's the best place to go learn more about you and to be able to reach out to you? Uh, uh, the Internet, Internet, I guess. I, guess. Okay. <laughs> I would say, say Google, Google or uh, jasonstockwell.com is, is the website. website. Uh, and then we have a radio, radio show. Uh, and then Facebook, Facebook, we're all over Facebook on the radio, radio show. And, and um, we have a number, number of Facebook pages, pages set up for other developments in the, in the, in for, for the Edina, Edina Living newspaper. Um, but I would say, or you can call, or text me anytime. I'm not a highly technological savvy person. Uh, we do, we have, do have like, like Instagram, Instagram and we, we have, um, Twitter, Twitter and all these things. things. I've never logged, logged into them. I don't even work with them, them. but I have, I have uh, millennials on staff, staff that are awesome, awesome at that stuff. stuff. But, but I, I like text, text call, and, and, and I, I like Skype, Skype now. now. I, I, I just learned, learned about Skype, Skype uh, uh, thanks to you and another guy last week, so I'm, so I'm Skyping. But you can call, email me at jason at jasonstockwell.com anytime, jason at jasonstockwell.com. We're always looking for good Motivated, motivated people to work, work with, with the leads and, and team players, players you, know, you know, you hear that a lot, but they, they, they have, have to bond and, you know, attach, attach the, the team and understand the value of the team. And uh, even, even if they plan on going on their own. Their own. I, I, I started out on a team uh, for, for just under a year and then went off on my own. And I understand and I value that team and what they taught me to get started because getting started is the hardest, most difficult part of the business. Yep. Love it, man. Love it. So, you know, we find, dude, that good becomes the worst enemy to greatness. It's so easy to get caught up in this. Oh, things are good enough to get comfortable. You know, you, you get to a point where, okay, you could start start uh, backing off, let the team run its own, and, and still do very well for yourself. Like, what keeps you, man, leveling up, growing, and not settling for good, but always going after greatness? The, the desire, desire to, to have, to, to, make, to, to make sure, sure that, that my kids... kids Part of, Part of it is I, I love to work. work. I just, I just frankly, frankly I, love, I like to work a lot. Uh, I, think I think it's fun, fun it's enjoyable. enjoyable. I, would I would sometimes rather be doing that than, than like, like a lot of people like, like to golf, golf and do all these. And, and I, like I like to do that too. too. But I actually, I actually like to work. I like, I like, I like, I like putting, putting a deal together. I love sitting down with a seller and having them give me the nod when I ask, are you ready to move forward with this? Do you trust myself and my team to handle the sale of your house? That, that, yeah, that's, that's like, like a high, high for me. When they, they say yes and they, and they sign, that, that, get, that, that motivates, motivates me. Same, same thing with the deal that gets put together, together and, and it comes, comes to terms. I love, I love it. it. I, don't, I, don't, I know the money's going to come. come. And I, and I, and I like, like that. that. I love, I love that, part that part too. But I'm, I'm not like focused on that 100%. I just want to put the deals together. And I love putting deals together. That's probably what keeps me going the most. And 
and, and just, just having, having fun, fun with it, with it and putting, you know, and, and, and putting, putting, uh, putting, uh, putting deals, deals together. together. But, but yep, awesome, man. So, um, if something happened and you got uh, financially wiped out today, right? But I mean, you're, you're good. No, don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> right, but your your health's good, your family's good, all that's good. But knowing everything that you know now, um, it, all your experiences that you've had. But you're having to start over with little or no money. What are the first few things in the real estate space that you would start doing right now, knowing what you know today, to go out there and rebuild this massive business? Uh, uh, I, would I would keep, keep it, it simple. simple. I, I, I always like, kiss, kiss that, that phrase, phrase, keep it simple, simple stupid. Is, I would, I would use, use my phone, phone and, and I would, if, if I was brand, brand new starting, starting out again and, and I didn't have a reputation, reputation, I didn't have any experience, experience no, no one knew me, me I, would I would hound and work, work buyers like none other. And, and I would build, build on, on buyers, buyers and buyers and buyers and buyers, buyers, and buyers, 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 buyers until I had enough experience and sales, and sales to, get to get to the listing, listing side. side. Uh, uh, and, and, I and I would have, have enough, enough, or get enough buyers in my pool to, say, to go, go to a seller and say, hey, look, these, these are, all are all the buyers I'm working, working with. with. I, know I know I haven't sold anything on the listing side yet, and this person has. But look, do they have this? Are they hustling like me? Are they 24-7? And I go back to the basics of hustle and working hard. And... And, and going, going after, after the, the buyers. buyers. And, uh, and, uh, because they're, they're free, free, essentially. If you can get a very minimal, minimal cost, cost. If, you if you can get, get open houses, houses and you can get back to buyers, buyers and call them and work them, them. And, and I would actually do it right, it right this time or, or not, not like I started out after quick practice where I'd sign them up, explain how contract works for representation, why it's beneficial for both of us, because I can sleep easier at night knowing and not having to get the call on Monday that the people, people I was with for three months, months just bought, bought a house at an open house. house. And I didn't have them under contract. And, I, and, and, and those, burns, burns, those burns, those burns, those scars, those, scars, those, those wounds, wounds, you remember those? those? And, and I would go back, back and, and I would take and have, have all that, that not happen, happen because, because I would do it, do it the, right the right way or the correct, correct way. But. Love it, man. So, you know, I started this podcast. It's been about a year now. And the reason I started is because we have all these, you know, quote unquote gurus in our space. Um, they've never went out there and done it. You know, they're not like the Craig Proctor's actually built this. Um, you know, they're, they're operating from a place of theory. And, and I was like, man, let me go out there and start interviewing the doers. Guys like yourselves that have been in the trenches, that have overcome adversity, that have went out there and actually done it and share your story. So that being said, you know, our listeners right now are, are, are people that are, most of them are in the real estate space or entrepreneurs in, in a lot of different industries as well. But they're wanting to take their life and their business to the next level, dude. So that being said, man, do you have any last pieces of uh, motivation or advice or inspiration that you'd like to leave them with? so they can then go out there and create an amazing life and business that they know they truly want? Uh, I'd, I'd say, say a couple, couple things, things, but one, one don't, don't be afraid, afraid of rejection. rejection. Just, and you, and you hear this over and over again, it's so much easier said than done. done. I, get I get hurt when I get rejected, rejected on a listing or a buyer side. side. But, but get, get past, past it, move on. on. It's, it's a learning, learning experience. Do it better next time. You're not going to win everybody. You really want to. And then the other thing is, simple disciplines, just do the little things every day. Don't, if, if you get, get off, off of it for a while, while like if, you, if, you're, if, you're, if you're going, going on, a, if you're going on a call, if you say, hey, I'm going to just hit expires. expires. I'm going to work expires, expires and I'm going to get listings. listings. And you, you try it for two weeks, weeks and, then and then you hit it hard. hard. And then, and then you, you stop. stop. That's, you're, you're, it's, it's too early. You have to get six months commitment. If you're going to commit to a plan, especially if you're spending money on some sort of campaign, six months minimum, stick to it, learn from it, and it'll pay off later on. Uh, with, with persistence. persistence. If you drop, you drop it right, right away and try, and try the next thing, thing um, then, then you didn't, didn't go after, after hard enough. enough. And, and uh, that's, that's the main, main thing, thing I would say is, is uh, stay, stay with it, it, stick with, with it, it, be persistent, because the, the persistent person will prevail. prevail. <laughs> <laughs> is that, is that enough peace? peace? <laughs> yeah, love it, love it. Powerful words. And to our listeners, I know I ain't never show with this, but you guys, information <clears throat> without implementation is really just the start of, uh, to delusion, right? Information is not power. It's taking that information, taking power, uh, um, sorry, action on it right away, implementing that creates power in the world. So Jason shared so much great advice with you guys. Take something that he shared today, go out there, take action right now on it. And like he said, man, be consistent, be persistent on it. Keep the only magic pill that exists is consist uh, consistency, right? So keep plugging away and uh, go out there and create that amazing life that you know you want and deserve. And Jason, dude, this has been a huge honor. I know how busy you are. I really appreciate you being here, man. This has been a lot of fun. Hey, hey thanks, thanks a lot, Josh. Josh. I, appreciate I appreciate it. it. Thanks, thanks again. again. Yeah, you got it. All right, you guys, we will see you next time.